myself Disha Rathi and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to teach you about the Google Sheets. How to use the Google Sheets, how to integrate them in your PC or your, in your mobile, how to use them efficiently, effortlessly, all things I am going to cover in this video. One question can come into your mind that why we should use the Google Sheets if we are very familiar with the Excel Sheets. So there are some drawbacks and some uh, plus points of Excel sheets too. So the plus point is uh, if you are the serious kind of data visualizer or you are doing the advanced type of programming, macros and all the stuff, then Excel is the better option for you. But if you don't want that much data analysis in your work, then Google Sheets are the best option for you. The plus point in the Google Sheets is sharing. Like it is completely free and you can use from your effortlessly Google Sheets and share with your colleagues. Suppose if you have uh, many members in your team you are working in together, so collaborative working is possible in the Google Sheets. It's just impossible in the Microsoft Excel. So collaborative working and sharing is the best function that uh, Google Sheet offers to us. Next its function is auto saving function. Google Sheets, you don't have to save your files, whichever you created, you don't have to save your databases. It saves automatically in your drive. So in this video, I'm going to cover all the things, how to create the folders in the drive, how to create the sheets, how to access them, how to share them with your team, advanced sharing option is possible with the Google Sheets like uh, if you want to share with your team who are just the editor so they can edit your sheet only if you want uh, to share the sheets with the team who are the viewer so they can only view the sheets so these all kind of advanced functions and features are available in Google Sheets and you know you can uh, access it easily from your PC and it's completely free to use I hope you will enjoy my video so do watch my video till end and if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, share with this video with your friends. So let's move back to the practical. So to open the Google Sheets, type drive.google.com into your browser. Make sure you have already logged into your Gmail account. So now we will first create the folder. So create on the new folder. Type any folder name. Suppose uh, I will type. Google Spreadsheets Part 1 Great. So as you can see this folder have been created here. So double click that folder and here you can uh, simply click the right click click here Google Sheets click this arrow and I would add a blank spreadsheet So this is a blank spreadsheet have been opened. So can you see this untitled spreadsheet? It is a file name. So if you want to change the file name, you can just simple change from here. Suppose I will rename it Google Sheets Tutorial. Okay. And you can see it is the same as an Excel sheet. Some other features and formatting options are here. So no need to save this google sheet you cannot find any saving option in the file menu because i told you before auto save function what google is performing okay if you want to mark this uh, sheet as a important sheet you can mark it from here if you want to move it to something uh, different folder you can move from this folder make sure this uh, uh, arrow have been ticked marked this is the share option. You can share this sheet with your colleagues. So how to share? Just click on the share button. And you can type here the mail ID of the person that you want to share. Suppose I want to share this sheet, uh, sheet with my sales team. So I would type uh, their mail address, notify people. And if you want to type any message, you can type it here and click the send button. No need to attach this file in the Gmail attachments type. Simply you want to send it from here. So the role for the sheet to whomever I am sending is the editor here. You can change the role. Editor to weaver, weaver to commenter. In the weaver, 
the person with whom you are sharing the sheet he only can view the sheet he cannot edit the sheet so this is the add on part what google sheet is offering to us suppose if you want to uh, rename the sheet here so you can rename the sub sheets here suppose here i would type number 1 uh, suppose i would make the student database here this is a called as a sheet number 1 you can create multiple sub sheets here number 2 students scorecard suppose and sheet number 3 rename uh, students activity chart suppose these three sub sheets i have created here so you can see the different uh, sub sheets i have created if you want to see all the three sub sheets here so from these horizontal bars you can easily access any sub sheets that you want to access so let's start editing and the formatting the sheets suppose i am creating a simple uh, database of the student here student number suppose the grade and the remarks the simple uh, uh, database i am going to show you serial number 1 2 3 just simply click it drag and drop how much database you want to create name the persons suppose disha chitna whoever the name so i'm copying and pasting all of them here itself okay roll number you can assign suppose 201 202 Simply drag and drop here. Grade A, A, B, 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 A. Whatever the random grading, if you want to give, you can just copy and paste here. Here the remarks. Sorry. If you want to put any remarks, now I will teach you the formatting. so the formatting so as you can see the sales have been left aligned here so if you want to make all of them the center aligned then select all the sheets that you want uh, to make them center aligned or you can sheet the columns from here click here center align would be there if you want to make them bold you can do it from here if you want to make them italic you can do it from here if you want to uh, add in some color here you can select that row and add the full color to the row as you can see i have selected the row from here full row i have selected that's why color have been added to full the row whichever till end okay suppose now we have to i have to delete this uh, row simply click this row click the right uh, button delete row that row have been deleted If you want to add some borders to it, just click select the sales, click the border. Border have been added. If again you want to insert some row, you can insert them from here. Click the right button and insert the row. If again I want, I don't want the color here, you can change them again back to the colors. Okay. If you want to write something here, students database, you can write here. If you want to increase the size of it. you can increase the size from here if you want to color cha uh, change the color of the text you can just simply color put the color here okay now i'll show you the freezing and unfreezing suppose i want to freeze the rows and the columns and simply drag and drop this icon suppose i want to freeze this row up to now and the columns to now was still the name so you can see rows have been freezed and here the columns have been freezed again if you want to rename the sheet you simply click here and rename the sheet it would be rename or you can click the file click the rename okay if you want to download this sheet as an excel copy so uh, in the download you can click this microsoft excel if you want to download this sheet as a pdf document you can download it from the pdf csv file also you can be downloaded from here itself so it's easy and sharing is very easy 
so suppose now i will show you some more function like a text wrapping and all suppose text wrapping function means uh, example uh, in the remark suppose i am putting uh, any dummy remarks here suppose this is my remark i have put it so can you see uh, the alignment is gone out of the box okay so what usually we do we do to drag this column here so to put that in a alignment okay but this is the wrong way to do how uh, suppose i want the column width this much only and in this width only i want to align that text so how to do i would select the full column i would select the format button in the track wrapping function click the wrap so can you see it's been aligned so now if whatever the remarks you would put odd would be the align here so i think this is the best option and the better way to update the data suppose if i am the third person uh, whoever you shared the sheet i want to put a comment here so comment you can put it from here press the comment see my name have been came and you can put the comment delete the user okay so if anybody else with whom uh, you share this sheet he can see the comment and take the action against it after taking the action you click the resolve and the best part is whatever commenting section you are doing this discussion uh, is uh, you can see from here also and this discussion by default google spreadsheet is doing mail to you so whatever things you are doing in a work uh, collaborative working so all things are shareable and all things you can easily access no need to save the file no need to uh, do any extra work to here so these are the some basics of the google sheets so here are some other icons like tools add-ons uh, data are here if you are beginner to the uh, google sheets then don't touch these things okay because these are the advanced part of the google sheets just if you want to make the database then only these options whatever i told you you have to apply i hope you like the video if you like then press the like button comment to my video and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching my video